Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be solving problem 2 on Project Euler. This problem states that each term in the Fibonacci sequence is generated by adding the previous two terms. By starting with 1 and 2, the first terms will be 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and 89. So to get the Fibonacci sequence, what typically we do is we add 1 and 2 to get 3, and then we add 2 and 3 to get 5, and then we add 3 and 5 to get 8 and so forth and the sequence continues that way by considering the terms in the fibonacci sequence which values do not exceed 4 million find the sum of the even value terms so this is a relatively easy problem so let's go ahead and actually uh, code this okay. so if you watch my last video on the question one here i still have that that project open so i'm just going to go ahead here and add in a file here for uh the fib sequence and uh, go ahead and create that class and I'm just gonna zoom in here so what we need to do is create a method like always so I'm gonna make a static and uh, long and then I'm gonna call this uh, even fib and then I'm gonna pass in the limit Next thing I want to do here is create a list. I want to use a list because it's easier to uh, get Fibonacci sequences like that. And we're going to get long values. And so I'm going to go ahead here and press out enter to import this class. Okay, import class. All right. And I'm going to call this uh, fib. And that's going to equal stream off. Because remember, we need one and two as our beginning number. So I'm just going to initialize that. And then I need to also import stream. Then I need one L for one long and two L for two long. And then I want to convert this to a list by using um, our collection collectors to list. So now that we have that, what we can do here is create a variable to keep track of the sum. So remember I'm using a Java 10 so I can use var for local variables. And then what we want to do here is create a for loop I'm going to create a variable called x here and I'm going to start it at zero. All right. And what we want to do here is we want to get uh, the fib dot get x and see if that is actually uh, less than that limit. And then what we can do is we could uh, increment x here. Uh, next, what we want to do here is we want to check to see if the current value at uh, the index x is divisible by 2. So we'll say fib dot get x mod 2 equal equal to 0. So that mod 2 equals 0, 0, that means that it's an even number. And so what we can do is we could just sum that up. So we say sum plus equal to fib dot get the current value in at the index position x. Okay. Next, what I want to do is we want to create the third number, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to say fib dot add, and then what we want to do is we want to get fib dot get the current number that we're looking at plus fib dot get the second number inside of our. Uh, collection here so I'm gonna do X plus one all right and that should be it and then all we can do here is just return sum and this problem is pretty much finished so what I want to do here is I want to create a big integer version just so people that want to actually test um, stuff with big integer uh, call it let's say big integer and I'm just to call it I'm gonna call it even fib and here the limit is I'm gonna pass in a big integer here and I'll call this limit uh, just like the other one here do is create a list of uh, big integer and I'm just gonna call this fib and I'm gonna use the stream up again here and what I want to do is pass in 
big integer dot one and big integer dot two. And then I want to also do collect that as a list. All right. So what we can do next is still keep that value. So I need the value to keep sum, so it's a big integer sum equals big integer dot zero. Right. So I'll say uh, for uh, bar x equals zero. What we want to do is want to say if so say uh, fib dot get x right dot compare to and then we want to pass in limit and if that is less than zero then we are uh, increment x so next thing we want to do is we want to say statement has an empty oh, body uh, so for that part we want to do is if statement here and then we want to say get the current fib value so fib get x and then mod big integer dot two right and then um, if that is the compared to, and then we're gonna pass in big integer dot zero. All right, so we get that. Let me see if I can break this down a little bit. Let me just push this down a little bit here. And if that is uh, equal equal to zero, so that means that's even. Then we're gonna say uh, sum equals uh, sum dot add fib dot get x all right so next we want to do here we want to do a fib dot add and then do a fib dot get x dot add fib dot get x plus one and then what we can do here is return sum here. And voila, we are done. So now we have two values here, two uh, methods here that we can call. So I'm gonna do a, pre uh, oof, I'm super sleepy. So we're gonna do a public static avoid main here. And we are going to just run these two methods and see to give us the same result. So I'm gonna do S out here and I'll do even fib. And for the long part here, I'm gonna pass in four million. And then I'm gonna do S out here. And for the even fib, which is overloaded with the big integer, I'm gonna pass in new big integer, not new byte, new big integer. And I'm gonna pass four million. So one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, and we're gonna run this to see if we get the same solution. So we run that and you guys can see that we do get the same solution. All right guys, this will be it for this tutorial. If you like, subscribe. And if you have another way of doing this, please post it down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.